Hey, what's up guys? So we've got another cool way here to wake the trig board up and get that push notification from anywhere in the world and that is using an FSR or a force sensitive resistor. So it's paper thin and I've got one set up here under the rug so as soon as somebody steps on the rug it wakes the trig board up from that ultra low power deep sleep state, connects to the Wi-Fi network and sends out the push notification all within about five seconds. So there you can see it on my phone FSR sensor stepped on. So let's take it to the bench and uh, I'll show you how it all works. Yeah, so not too much going on here. We have the FSR sensor wired straight over to the trig board and a little transistor added in here and that's pretty much it. And one of the nice things about this is that we're still able to take advantage of the ultra low power sleep current of the trig board. So right now as you see this system, it's pulling less than one microamp. So you're going to get insane battery life from this. And it, as soon as we press the FSR sensor, it wakes the trig board up, you see there, and connects to the Wi-Fi network and gets that push notification sent out. And there you have it. So very cool and uh, pretty simple. So let's jump over to the wiki page here that I created for this. And I'll just quickly explain why that transistor is needed. So this has all the parts you need, the exact FSR sensor I'm using, and then a little schematic here showing how to hook it all up. Now, by the way, I got very lucky with this FSR sensor. I just kind of randomly chose one on Amazon, and I was expecting it to hook up potentiometers and other resistors to kind of like fine-tune this to wake up the trig board, but I actually didn't need any of that because right now, as it sits here, it's measuring like mega ohms like 10 or 20 mega ohms but then as soon as you press it it drops that resistance way down to like 10 or 20k i think so that works out perfectly for this because we need that huge change in resistance and i was happy that it pulls uh or it measures in the mega ohms when it's just sitting there because this transistor here that's exactly it's it's simply a resistor hooked from the base to ground and this is just a PNP transistor, okay? So nothing special. Just using a 2N3906. I'm sure any other general purpose transistor you've got laying around will work as well. Now the sensor input here, the two uh, pin sensor input to the trig board uh, has two leads and the positive lead is actually connected internally on the trig board straight over to VBAT. And then the negative lead here is the actual input to the wake circuitry. So that's where you want to apply your voltage. And the transistor is kind of digitizing there, or it's working like a switch based off of the FSR. So the transistor, though, will only conduct when we have, or only turn on when we have current flow from the emitter base down through to ground. So when this is sitting there normally, we uh, have mega ohms, so we have hardly any current at all going through that junction, thus the transistor is off. But as soon as we press it, bam, now we've got you know that 10 to 20K to ground, we've got that conduction, we've got current flow, and we turn the transistor on, and that's enough to wake up the trig board. So that's it. Yeah, so by default, the trig board has the normally closed jumpers set. So there's little traces in there that you'll have to cut with an X-Acto knife. Uh, only if you want this to basically uh, wake when somebody presses on it. You could also just leave those jumpers as is. Leave the normally closed jumpers alone. And then in that case, it will wake it up on the release of the FSR. So when you pull away from the FSR, then it will wake it up. And I was kind of thinking, you know, it'd be cool to set this up outside uh, to basically, you know, detect when a package, not when it's delivered, but when it's removed from a mat. I was thinking of like a way to catch package thieves with this or something. I don't know yet. But if you want it to wake when you press the FSR like you see here, you need to cut, very carefully cut those two jumpers, those two normally closed jumpers, and then beat in some solder on the two normally open jumpers okay so that's all there is to it uh, the wiring is pretty straightforward because uh, you can just use the sensor input you will have to grab ground here which I'm just grabbing it right off of uh, one leg of that push button there now uh, there's all there's also the ground expansion pad up there too that you can use uh, but 
that's all there is to it. And this worked out great. So make sure you check the wiki out. Um, and you might want to, uh, you might have to tweak your FSR sensor. I'm not sure. Depends on what you're using. But this one worked out great. So that's all I've got. Uh, thanks for watching.